Good morning and happy Friday. Have a Merry Christmas, girl. You. Morning. It's a bacon and cheese eggs with some toast and peach preserve kind of morning. What y'all know about that peach preserve on some buttered toast? Are you kidding me? Yeah, we're doing it. All right, y'all. The eggs are done. I couldn't record what I was doing, y'all, because I've been jaw jacking on the phone this morning. But yes, yes. And then I'm going to put this preserves on here. But anyway. I thought I was going to do a mukbang, but I ain't going to be able to because I'm running behind. And I got to go pick up the girls. We're going shopping. I'm taking the teenagers, Lauren and Tania. We're going shopping so they can pick up gifts for their family. So we'll see you on the flip side. Toodles. Love Christmas music. This is the, the Whispers. Have yourself. A merry little Christmas. Alright, can't play too much of it. You get copyright, honey. Anyway, I'm headed out to go get the girls. They're going to be hanging out with me this weekend. Hanging at the house. Finna go take them shopping. You know what? I don't know if uh, Man Man... Oh, not Man Man, but TJ. A little Christmas. Y'all know y'all want to hit that note. <laughs> Don't y'all wish y'all had the mic uh, when y'all was in the recording studio with them? You go ahead on and hit that high note. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let me go get them. Let me go get them. I feel good today. You know what? I just feel good. I tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I had to come back on right quick. <laughs> I listened to uh, Holiday Soul on Sirius XM. And anyway, in between the songs, you know, the DJ come up there. He said, look, he said, Santa Claus said, <laughs> he said, for couples, Y'all stay off of uh, Facebook for two weeks before Christmas, he said, because that's the highest time people break up. Because <laughs> people get on social media and they watching all this stuff. And, 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 and so anyway, I thought it was so funny. I said, mm, tell the truth and shame the devil. Sometimes that's true, honey, because you know how it is. People be putting so much stuff. You, you know, like I said, I'm part of that platform, but let me tell you. Like I said before, y'all stop telling everybody all oh, your business. I mean, y'all be y'all be telling all your business. You don't tell everything, and, and then too, you tell all of your business about your spouse, and your spouse will be, be like, I 
what you putting that out there for? And so anyway, I thought this is tickled because it's so true. I can remember when Facebook got real, real popular. Oh my goodness, so many couples have gotten divorces and have busted up because the one of the spouses, one or the other, or both, they sit up there and tell all their business. Y'all, please, please do not get caught up in the social media engine. Like I said, it's a blessing or it can be a curse. And just in general, y'all, take control. We, we, I'm included. I'm pretty, I think I do pretty good, you know. But y'all stop telling all your business. Three amigos, stop number one, Sam's Club. Gotta go get some wrapping paper. Y'all say hey to the people. Hello, hi. <laughs> and praying. <laughs> yeah, it's Saturday, y'all, because they're going to hit these samples things up. Okay, y'all, I came in here to get some wrapping paper. It's not a bad deal. Look at these big rolls. And a lot of times, these are double sided. And uh, so you got two designs for 10 bucks. Okay, Lauren, you want to pick out which one? You want to get something very traditional? I mean, you get a lot of wrapping paper. Okay, y'all, we're getting this. It's double-sided, so it's that design on one and that design on the other. Ten bucks, you can't beat it. It's, it's packed in here, y'all. It's packed in here. <laughs> we checking out. All right, y'all. I'm getting these blankets. These are nice. They're at before 15 bucks. Nice. And just some other little knickknacks. Kool-Aid. Getting chocolate chip cookies down there to make tonight. Man, man wanted some grapes. And then we got to make some other pit stops. It's uh, both of them are mine. You just you you can pick which one you want to lay under. You like that one? I said both of these are. Y'all see it? All right, y'all. Second stop is McDonald's because the kids are hungry. They chowing down, eating their two cheeseburger meals. Too bad we can't do a um, mukbang. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got my stand to do right. Plus that fan is on, you can't hear. All right, y'all, I'm about to do it. I got a Big Mac and a fry on auntie and grandma duty. All right, we're finished eating. Man Man's cleared off the table and throwing away all of our trash. Is it cold? The temperature dropped? All right, well, let's go. We're going to hit up Target. This is the teenager takeover on my channel today. It's all about them. They wouldn't let me record them talking a while ago. They was in deep conversation about pushing. I need to get in my back for a pad. You need to get what? I'm just saying. Thank you for Oh. Think of it as you Shut up. It's true. Y'all be nice. Ooh, that temperature has dropped out there, what? honey. Sorry. Oh, ooh, good gracious. It feel like it's about 20 degrees out these here doors. Let's cut the temp up and let's roll. All right, y'all. Target, here we come. All right, y'all, we're in Target. The kids had to make a bathroom run. And they're coming out. There's Man Man. Where's Tania? Y'all, here's my mini me. I have to show her, show off her cute little hairdo. I tell you what, honey, these uh, teenagers is doing their hair. We love it. That is too cute. 
See, if I want too old, I'd, I'd do that. That's cute to me. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> She's trying to be sh Y'all, I'm here to tell y'all. I know I'm supposed to be in here shopping with the kids, but these are cute, honey. And as I'm getting older, honey, I'm having to give up some of them heels part-time. Somebody say part-time because, you know, I still got to wear them every once in a while. <laughs> the heels, that is. But I'm liking these. They're not but 30 bucks. And I think they've got a, a uh, extra percentage on. But these are cute. And see, you just slide these on and slide them off. I don't know. I might have to walk. I might, I might, I might, I might just walk out of here with a couple pair of these here, here. And I need some black ones. Hmm. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Some more. Okay, y'all. I'm finna show them how to work a rotary phone. The millennials, Generation X, they have their clueless. But I'm a Zoomer. But when we were Zoomer, rather, excuse me, Zoomer. Back in the day, when we had to dial on the rotary phones, what we had to do, we take our finger and we hold the hold the base, Lauren. Hold the base of the phone so it won't move. Nine. We had to switch, pull, swing it all the way around. And then whatever your phone number was. I want this phone. We had to dial it like that. All, the whole 10 digits. Or is it nine digits? So y'all now you can just say call so and so. But back in the day, that's how we had to call on the rotary phone. This is like foreign to you, isn't it? No. Francis, dial your number. How the? I ain't gonna put your. Know what I'm saying is, use your it's... finger to dial your number. <laughs> you stick your finger. Yes, yeah, stick your finger in the number, your numeric number. So we know your area code is nine one nine. We ain't gonna say your whole number. Okay. So you say nine. Go ahead on. Whip it all the way around till it stops. Right there. No, and you just let it go. It'll mm -hmm. it'll go back on its own. Hold up, so stick so, your finger in there. Okay, now swing it all the way around. Now let it go when it hits that. Now move your finger. Let your finger go. Okay, and it, see how it goes back. Yes. Okay. Then you. What's your next digit for your phone? Nine. That's how we had to dial back in the day. Yeah, they don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I had to record. I had to record it. Yeah, and they on some batteries or something. What? I, they already know. We already know. Thank you. Thank you. Why is this fall off, bro? Bro, I want one of them to fall off. <laughs> He's going to fall off, catch him. <laughs> I want one of them to fall off. <laughs> Lauren's shopping and buying her Christmas gifts. She's doing it, y'all. She's doing it. I'm she's se she's semi-adulting. I'm broke now. <laughs> Lauren, Lauren is spending big money, $63. And she gets uh, she gave her uh, 100 so she's getting $36 back. Lauren, you're so special. She didn't want to spend it, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. We came, we conquered. Lauren did her shopping. Now they're headed to the vehicle, huh? Yeah, I got tape at home. Be careful with those uh mugs. All right, the kids are chilling. Lauren's wrapping gifts. Tania found her a honey hole over there where she can chill out. She wants to sleep over there in that corner. <laughs> Man Man's chilling watching Bible verses or whatever that's called. And he's eating his uh, grapes. All right, time for Auntie to leave y'all alone so y'all can chill. Okay, bye. <laughs> 
okay? The teens are having <laughs> hot dogs, <laughs> leftover mac and cheese, and some sour cream and onion. Um, what's them called? Potato chips, right? <laughs> Ariana Grande, not Adriana Grande. <laughs> I know, I said it wrong. And how are they doing? What do you mean? So, what? I mean, are they popular? Just Leo's on her. And so, when did you start getting into K pop? Like, when did you start getting into K pop? Oh, really? Oh, when did you start getting into K pop? Oh, really? Lauren, you just want mustard on yours? No, I'm about to get the K pop. Oh, okay. <laughs> she gave hers all zigzag. Watch, 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 watch. Watch. Yeah, Watching Family Feud. Tanir, you gonna do ketchup ah! and mustard? Yeah, I'm just gonna do ketchup. What? She was so close. What happened? Oh. Oh. She was missing. But yet so one far. One. She got four. So one more left. Mm. Hey y'all. I'm doing chocolate chip cookies for the teenagers. I have to quit calling them kids, honey, because they show this correcting me real quick. They're like, uh, auntie and grandma, uh, yeah, we're 14, uh, we're teens. But anyway, they're still the kids to me. But y'all, I used to make these chocolate chip cookies from scratch. But who has to do that anymore? You can get a tub for six bucks out of Sam's Club and, and, and just dip it. And as simple as one, two, three. So we about to do it. Okay, the, there y'all have it. And what I like to do is go ahead on and help it. And I just take my thumb and smash it. Smash it. So you can get those nice crisper edgers. I was watching a cooking show and saw that. You can just take your finger and smash it. Smash it. Smash it. y'all and let's put them in the oven this was quick and simple okay y'all we're gonna put these in the in the oven for about a good eight to nine minutes and we'll see where they are in eight to nine minutes and when the cookies come out of the oven I'm gonna put it on this pretty holiday um, Christmas plate my boss gave me this a couple of years back and I love it love it love it so that's where the cookies are gonna go and also y'all I wanted to tell y'all what's awesome about this cookie dough it um you can freeze it up to two months so this is a big tub definitely won't be using all of this but I'm gonna just freeze it and just whenever I want some more chocolate chip cookies pull it out and bake again it's up it's good up to two months Right there. Can't beat that, y'all. They're up there having a good time, y'all. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Here's the first batch. Aren't these a beauty? You know I had to go ahead on and grab one so I can see what it tastes like. Holy moly, they're good. Anyway, y'all, I was tired. This is... The kids' desserts, chocolate chip cookies with some milk, and then you girls getting in the bed. I'm tired. Hey, 
They getting their cookies and milk. Cause Lauren wants to dip her cookies. I'm gonna see how she gonna dip it like I used to dip my ginger snaps. Right, I just dip it in there. Mmm. <laughs> yummy, yummy. All right, y'all. Say good night. We're closing out the vlog, y'all. Good night. Deuces. Good night. <laughs> the kids are up, honey. They wanted to see the backyard. They couldn't see it last night. Mm -hmm. I like to look out here in the this in the front and the back because the uh, you'll see squirrels running around with nuts in their mouths. They are up, honey. You got a house full of tools, honey. They get up uh, before the crack of dawn and you want something to eat. So, let's um, see what we're going to do, what we're going to get, what we're going to fix. Say hi to three amigos. They're waiting on breakfast. Man Man wants hot chocolate, so we're doing hot chocolate for him this morning. Gonna drink out of the flavor train cup. <laughs> Say what? It's a dog. She sleeps with you, Lauren? Oh, a uh, he, excuse me. He doesn't sleep with you? No, Pee in your bed? Y'all, they chowing down. This brings back memories. I want to make me want to cry and remind me of that's me, Tanya, that's Tony, and that's Tansy. <laughs> oh my goodness! Man, man got the prize out the out the box. Back in the day, they used to put the uh, the prize inside the bag with the cereal, but now they got smart. And they put it on the outside. What is it, man, man? It's a Spider-Man home from uh, far from home. This movie was already out, but it's the, like the little uh, Spider-Man. Spider oh, okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. When you have a house full of folks, especially teens, you gotta clean. Y'all, this is some of the best stuff right here. I got it from Lowe's. My mom told me about it because she's got uh, wood floors in her kitchen and um love it this stuff is you just spray on spray on the floor and honey it gives it cleans it and gives it a just a natural wood shine and you get your swiffer and you just go honey love it simple as one two three love these hardwood floors and um, probably next year I'll just have someone come in by the spring. You know how you do spring cleanup? I have a, a company come in and f professionally buff and wax them. Yep. But everyday daily care, Swiffer, and that zip, and it's a zip zap clean. Y'all listen at this new scam. What business owners and customers should watch out for. Low down. I've reported on schemes that go after individuals and some that target businesses, but in this case, thieves are taking advantage of both. The Better Business Bureau says it's received reports of the scam that starts with a person going into a restaurant and asking to use a phone to make an emergency call. Shortly after they leave, the business realizes the phones aren't ringing. That's when they discover their phone line is rerouted to an untraceable number. Mm. When customers call in to place orders, scammers pose as restaurant employees and collect credit card information. Experts say if you are a victim of the scam, you likely won't realize it until it's too late. And your pizza didn't show up. Scam to, you know, identify. What a flim flam. Place. 
Difficult to identify, so the troubleshoot takeaways are to review your statements often and look for unexplained charges. Oh. Uh, cancel your card immediately and request... Y'all, we got to be on our P's and Q's. Thieves. Alerts to be notified instantly. Find ways to scam you out of money because they don't want to go out and get a job. That, that, oh, I can't even take it. Anyway, PSA, as always, buyer beware.